Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to create a table in SQL. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's try to get started with our agenda. How to create a table in SQL. Now, let's quickly look at the syntax we need to create a table in SQL. So we will be using the keyword create to let the SQL know that we're trying to create an element which can be a table or database. Followed by that, we will be using the table keyword to explain the SQL that we're trying to create a table here. Followed by that, a customized table name. Then inside that, we will be starting with the parameters, which can be the elements or columns which are present in your table. Column one or parameter one, it's data type and constraint. So what is a constraint? We will be understanding about the data type and constraint when we are in the practical mode. Let's quickly try to understand the syntax over here. So these are the things. Create keyword, table keyword, table name, which is a customized or user defined name for the table. Then the parameters involved in the table, that is the columns, column one, two, three, data type and constraint. Followed by that, close the bracket and use the semicolon to explain SQL that it is the end of the code. Now let's get back to the SQL workbench. So we logged into the SQL workbench. So now we have logged into the SQL workbench. Now previously we had created a database that is simply learn database. Now we will try to create the table in the same database. Now we will be using the create keyword table. Now table name which can be anything. Let's try to create a student database or employee database. You can see that I'm using capitals for keywords and small for the user defined ones just to make it clear for the reader to understand what is what. If it is in capital, it is a keyword. If it is in small, it is a user defined name. Now, EMP ID, which is an integer type, and then a constraint. not null so remember the data type and constraints that we discussed earlier so this is it so you're trying to tell the sql that the id what you're creating is of integer data type and since this can be a primary keyword it should not be null right now the next one employee name which can be character data type. So let's keep it as char or character. And let's give the size as 150. Now the next one. Okay, I forgot to give the constraint. Default. Okay, let's not keep it as default null. It cannot be null as well. Then comes the address. Which can again be character. And let's give it as 500 as the size. And followed by that, it can be default. Here we are trying to tell SQL that it is okay to keep the employee address column as null. It can be blank. Again, it's your wish if you don't want the address column to be empty, you can keep it as not null. And if it's all right for you to keep it as null, then you can provide it as default null. Right. So these are the parameters, their data types and the constraints. Right. Now we will understand them a little more detail in the theoretical section. Now followed by the columns. The last one is to dedicate or create a primary key. Let SQL know which is a primary key. So primary key is very important for every database or table. And I'll explain you that in the theoretical section again. Now, which is the primary key? The ID, what we created for employees, that is EMP ID is the primary key. This particular primary key will be really important when we are trying to work with two different tables with one single column in common between both the tables, right? So 
with that we have created the code for creating a new table in a database now let's quickly try to execute it so there is a small error let's try to resolve it yes so the small error that we created is we did not try to select a database right before creating a table you need to select the database or explain sql which database is supposed to be used now for that we have to use the use keyword and the database name that is simply learn db semicolon now when you run this particular code SQL will understand we need to use the simply learn DB and then it will get access to that particular DB then it will read this particular code and try to create a new table let's quickly run it and there you go let's try to eliminate this code for a while run this now we are using the simply learn DB eliminate this code now run this particular code once again and okay so instead of character we can use worker and run it since character limit was 255 and we gave 500 instead of character if we provide worker we can provide the maximum limit so now the table is successfully created here so that's how you can create a new table in sql with that we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to create a new table in sql and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.